here with fired producer Lamer Lee. Ah, the disgrace Lamer Lee. <laughs> well, it's oh, like, hello. We are here with, <laughs> with disgraced man Lamer Lee. <laughs> I, so I asked if Lamer could, like, so Lamer gets on the call. He's shirtless. His hair is wet. He's talking to us on his phone. He's on FaceTime. And it's like, Lamer, you should have just told me you couldn't do the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you should have just told me the scheduling didn't work. You looked like you no, had just never. fucked. Never, dude. Never. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said you looked like you had just had sex. God damn it. Brendan, would you say? <laughs> this is oh, awesome. that's sweet. That's fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you just answered that's shirtless all before. like relaxed. No one's ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lemire, come back. I want to see your nostrils, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nostril to, cam right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to fix it. You know, oh, uh-huh. God damn it. Oh, there you that go. looks pretty good. So, you, so you're uh, where the hell are you? You said you're in North Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh huh. Oh, I love Wilmington. Yeah. Is is there yeah, stand up there? Cool. Does comedy is, is yeah. comedy happening there? We're doing comedy tonight at the Bazaar. <laughs> it's a place called the Bazaar. Okay. W- what is it? Yeah. It's it's a weird bar. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> oh, yeah. a creepy bar. Yeah. It's like a clan yeah. hall. You, 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 you drove what eight hours, seven hours to go there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Nick, we drove twelve hours from Tuscaloosa, Georgia, to go. <laughs> 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 Let me let me ask. How are the finances of this tour going? Are you uh, how far in the red are you? Things oh. are fine. We're not that, you know. This tour is sponsored by the U.S. government, so we're pretty good. Oh okay. hell yeah! <laughs> All right, I feel you. Same way, yeah. same way. This podcast yeah. is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me, Wait, let me turn off my Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Your connection. This dog shit. I know. Rocks, yeah, yeah. Dude. This is great. <laughs> You're calling us on the, like the motel Wi-Fi. Damn, this might be the first time. This might be the first time we Dude. kick a guest off the show. <laughs> <laughs> We just go back it's a to country the in. <laughs> oh, I don't have good. They don't have fucking good Wi Fi there, dude. No, they don't. No, go not find, even, maybe it's just your room. Go record down the lobby or something. Okay, you're right. All right, I'll be back. No, give me a moment. Don't do that. I was going to do that. Oh, okay. I was going to go to the lobby. I'm not afraid. Whoa, dude, Lemare, right? You can just make Lemare do anything. <laughs> I would be so pissed if I was like a guest at this hotel and Lemare was just like wandering the halls podcasting. Lemare <laughs> is just like Lemare's like a full on golem. You just point and he goes. You <laughs> Well, anyway, it's uh, it's great to great to talk to you. Oh, you have a meal now. <laughs> Where did it come yeah, magic. From? Are you eating fucking Chinese food while you podcast with us, dude? It's, it's spicy tuna. Oh, I think it's worse. That's worse. It's not a power move. Just, you answer it. Pro- you answer the call shirtless. Got a bunch of sushi. <laughs> yes, dude. Just eating no, fish no. with his hands. What a big dick move. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to go down like this. <laughs> <laughs> it just started happening. Nice. So, Lamar, I, Lamar, I got to ask you, dude, are you, uh, how pumped are you for White Boy Summer? Will you be uh, in observance? Are you in observance of White no, Boy man, Summer? I, I hate White Boy Summer. I'm Come anti on, White Lamar. Boy Summer, dude. Come on, Lamar. You are? Yeah. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they asked you on Loud Boys and you were in favor of it. <laughs> Have you no, wait, was I? I think so. Oh, uh, this is the, this is the, the best episode... part about Lemaire's mm. takes is he can't even keep up with Wasn't the, the episode was called <laughs> White Boy Summer. No, I don't think I liked White Boy Summer because, because like, I don't know. Is it's fucking lame? But like, is it every summer a White Boy Summer? Oh, to... shut <laughs> Oh, what the? What are you? <laughs> What is this bullshit? What are you, a girl on cut Twitter, his, Lemare? Cut his When mic. have white people ever, when have white boys ever lost? Lemare, look at the comedy industry <laughs> over the last five years. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, Shane Gillis, Andrew Schultz, Joe Rogan. What do you mean? <laughs> <That's true. laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, Shane, a, a shining example of uninterrupted success in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Can't you let us have this? You guys, you guys ran with it last summer. You had you had all summer no, to yourselves. No, no, Can you no, no. just last, sit last, down and let us have a summer? summer. It was a hot girl. It was summer not last hot year. girl summer. La- you, <laughs> was that's what was going on last summer. summer? <laughs> I don't oh, think I'm sorry, so, dude. You're I, right. I forgot. I forgot. My bad. <laughs> it was. <laughs> right. on, it was, dude. It was Black Wait. Lives Summer last summer. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Black Lives Summer. 2019 was hot girl summer. <laughs> then Black Lives Summer. <laughs> yeah. It's time and for you. To, it's time for you to take a seat. <laughs> we didn't like want it to be Black Lives Summer. It just had to be Black Lives Summer. <laughs> like I said. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. All right. It's almost I'll, time for Black Lives Summer Part Two. I'll give you that was not on the calendar. <laughs> yeah. Are there other people in the room with you? Oh yeah. Can you hear them? Yeah. Of course we can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's one room. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. God damn, dude, there's just comics having a fucking pillow fight in the back. Of- Look, man, you, <laughs> you really should have told me this is what was going on. <laughs> I did not no, realize man. this would be the podcasting conditions. Yeah. Look, this is going to be your best Patreon yet. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the regular episode. Because yeah. we goofed oh. up. We goofed up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up. We forgot to do the ad. Uh, so the other one had to be the, the Patreon. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so we, once again, okay. uh, we once again betrayed Robbie, really. Honestly, <laughs> it's okay. I'm already I'm already feeling real good about this one, honestly. I'm glad we got LaMare on a regular one. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so what are you... So, all right, so you guys... So who are you, who are you fucking traveling with right now? It's you and... Who else? Chase Simpson and Dorian Vasquez. You don't need to. You don't need to pan to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just the boys. You know, it's just women. <laughs> Hell yeah. That that room actually, dude. That room looks fucking big. That's a nice room. Thank you, dude. Thank you. The other is room a, was better. Did ahead, I see I'm a sorry. kitchen? Did I see like a kitchen and a counter? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's just a bunch of slobs eating sushi off a dresser. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, what have these gigs been I, like? They've been all right. The uh, we were in Tuscaloosa the other night. That was pretty okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't fuck with Alabama at all. Oh, at the bar, I walked into the bar. <laughs> I just walked into the bar. I was walking upstairs, and there was this kid playing cornhole with his dad. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Look, mom, a nigger." <laughs> she was like, "Hey." <laughs> 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 white like, boy hey. summer dude white boy summer is in full effect <laughs> like a like a bird watcher <laughs> look dad it's a cardinal <laughs> let me add yeah. that to my book <laughs> yeah. the seasons are changing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah what did you say I just walked out I was like uh huh I didn't Smart. think I didn't think it was. I really heard it, but then I was like, "Why would she say a instead of like, you know?" <laughs> yeah, that's nice. She had yeah. at least had the dignity to do that. She was just like, "Not, yeah. not so loud. He can hear." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not yeah. don't say that. He's like, he's like, they can hear. I thought they were blind and deaf. <laughs> <laughs> like bats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that they, I thought that they felt vibrations in the earth like tremors. <laughs> Look, honey, it's a. Boop. If you don't move, he can't see you. <laughs> 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 just yeah. self beep. Yeah, yeah self beep. Yeah. yeah. No. You couldn't just time code it out. Uh, do, you no. I, do you think I? Do oh, okay. you think I? You think I'm gonna say the n word into this recording <laughs> and trust myself to remember to delete it? <laughs> Hey, that would be an insane know, act of self sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say wild shit on this podcast and then just like immediately upload it like it's out of our hands. Yeah, <laughs> like, we, like the the key- we treat yeah. it You're like it's a live man. stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, no delays. Somebody <laughs> held a gun to our head and made us say that stuff. Mm-hmm. That's basically it. <laughs> when it all comes crashing down. <laughs> yeah. It was a sword behind your head. It made you say it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly being threatened by swordsmen, and they make me say <laughs> naughty words. Yeah, you're like Samurai Jack, dude. 
<laughs> he is exactly like Samurai Jack. He's com- <laughs> dude. He's like he just wants to get back home. He's stuck in Los Angeles. <laughs> he might as well be fucking running into like aliens and robots and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're right. <laughs> It's a bunch of weird plastic people. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, a, Nick, that makes you Aku. You're I was going to say, I'm 100% Aku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <heck yeah. laughs> Just doing an Asian voice tormenting you. Yeah, you're shape shifting. <laughs> 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 you're constantly. <The> fool! <laughs> you're constantly <laughs> tormenting me with Chinese voice. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I thought Haku yeah. was Phil Lamar. No, uh, no, Samurai uh, Jack is Phil Lamar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how come he? How come he's allowed to do that? You know. <laughs> do I know? Do I know? No, Haku was actually that. That casting was before people paid attention to stuff like that. That was yeah. like that was like fifteen years ago. I think yeah. Phil Lamar still voices an Asian character on something. He like gets away with it. I wonder if he's got. He might have like some Asian lineage. He's. I mean, <laughs> lineage. Yeah, I don't think it matters. He's black. No one's gonna go after him. Right. He probably yeah. gets away with it because uh, they're like, hey, as long as it's not a white guy doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely right. it. He's not yeah. Jamaican either, and he plays. Uh, what's his name on Futurama? Oh yeah, oh, the doctor. Uh, yeah. I almost called him Dr. Hibbert. Yeah, me it. too. Yeah. <laughs> My man, we... Ch- yeah. <laughs> but, but Aku, Aku, that was actually, that was a, like a legit, uh, that was Mako, who I think, yeah. uh, he was Asian, I don't know if he was Japanese. He was, but, the, uh, he was the guy who played his... um, Iroh in um, like the first season Ooh. and a half of uh, Avatar, and then he died and they replaced him. I yeah. think the same guy replaced Iroh and Aku. When that guy died. <laughs> oh, interesting. They're just like, that's what? lazy. <laughs> you, sir, have gotten a payday. <laughs> <laughs> Is that guy Asian? Because yeah, I think that I was pretty I... sure. I'm pretty sure they just like, they're like, all right, the only other old man Asian voice actor, you've gotten a promotion. It's, <laughs> it's like there's got to be like some second in line dwarf yeah. actor who, like, when Peter yeah. Dinklage dies, he's going to be like, yes. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna hand him a contract. I'm like, welcome to the A team. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I uh, I, you know I, Bugs I, Bunny is played by an Asian man. Is he? Yeah. Who and he's it? from Canada too. It's like a Canadian Asian guy. How do we let that happen, dude? <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. With it's this, funny this that, like, like, no. like with Looney Tunes now, they're like, all right, we need to be more sensitive, so we need to hire Asian people to do our different offensive uh, stereotype <laughs> character. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We got yeah. a Japanese woman to play Speedy, so it's not racist anymore. <laughs> underlay, uh, underlay, <laughs> arriba, arriba. <laughs> so, Brendan, do you want to know what's awesome? The dude who replaced um, Iro. You're right; it is the same guy, uh-huh. but he's a dude from New Mexico named Greg Baldwin. Nice. <laughs> so I mean, white boy summer. Like, what can I say? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Fucking white boy summer. There's, there's never. There's no like black guy summer. When do we get our summer? When's our time? We're uh, you didn't and waiting. see do the right thing. <laughs> that was black guy summer, right? <laughs> For like four or five niggas, yeah, not everybody. <laughs> Uh, Nick, I was surprised that you bought the shirt. Like, I I think it's funny to be like White Boy Summer, but like you bought the shirt. I feel like yeah, I I feel like you're gonna have to explain that to people. There, there's already so much shit that I have to explain. Also, like I said, what happens with all these shirts is I wear them once, and then my girlfriend wears them, which is so much funnier to me. (laughs) I guarantee she told me she wouldn't wear it. I guarantee you, I will get her to wear the White Boy Summer. She won't even realize she's doing it. (laughs) <laughs> you should retire that. Uh, you should retire that shirt at the end of the summer. Put it in a frame, and you, anytime you look at it, you're like it was like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good year. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to tell my kids about White Boy Summer. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so because excited! The, I'm so excited to alternate my white boy summer shirt and my three Mark Wahlberg municipal T-shirts that I bought. <laughs> <laughs> that I bought in like a manic upswing. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I listened to your last episode with that guy. What is he call himself? A psychopath? What do he say? Oh, oh shame. Social- yeah, he's a sociopath. Yeah, or he's got a antisocial sociopath. antisocial personality disorder. Yeah, that sounds like LA shit. 
He's not. <laughs> I, he doesn't live here. He lives. In, he lives in New York, dude. He's on the East Coast. Man, yeah, that's still that's coastal shit. <laughs> so very, like, yeah. Sounds call, like made up shit. You're Where's calling, he at? I want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, all right, get that's... yourself together. Go outside and talk to some people. <laughs> <laughs> it's not anti. Something. It's not antisocial. Like you're afraid of talking to people. It's antisocial. Is in you're like breaking down the order of society. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's Basically, the thought. doctors told him he's the Joker. Lemaire thought it was a dude who's clinically playing DS too much. Yeah. No, you're thinking <laughs> You're thinking of yeah. anxiety. You're thinking of like the the various like woman's mental diseases that I have. Well, let me say this. Look, man. Look. Look. Sometimes you feel like the Joker, you just got to get out there and fucking not be real Joker, just like <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> Oh, are you talking about the social contract? Yeah, we all signed the social contract. Lemaire's <laughs> just like roundabout saying we live in a society. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's the greatest black comic bit of all time. It's like, man, y'all can't just be the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice no, be like, no, no, it's not. You can't just, ha, 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 ha. You can't be the Joker. <laughs> like, even, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying yeah. don't rape a bitch, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can't be putting on makeup and purple suits. <laughs> you can't be riding a motorcycle down the street. Yeah. A lot of people shit. don't know Patrice uh, was in jail when he was younger because he raped Barbara Gordon and paralyzed her. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> it's a great joke for I... eight, eight guys. <laughs> Everybody forgets that about Patrice, that he was, he was in jail for like a sexual assault thing, right? Yeah, but it was fake. I, I think it's. I think he, he like ran a train or something. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That was before you could do that. I think he got Emmett no, Till basically. You could always run a train. <laughs> Lemaire, it's not, even, it's not stop. Lemaire, it's do you remember done. Charles? Do you remember Charles yeah. at the old open mic? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he's doing great. <laughs> Charles would he tell would... me just the worst stories I've ever heard. Like... <laughs> yeah. We say. Uh... You got to drink a blue Gatorade after you have sex. That's how you don't get herpes. Yeah, he was insisting. <laughs> he was insisting that STDs one aren't real, but if they are, they can all be cured w- by drinking a blue Gatorade immediately after sex and taking a hot shower. That's you know what, dude, I like that. That's that's manifest like mind over matter shit. Yeah, it's sound logic. It is it's sound logic, dude. He basically invented like a black dude form of witchcraft. <laughs> you mean voodoo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, there is. A, yeah, black dudes are still doing a lot of just like modern day voodoo, where it's like, oh, you can't. It's like, it's like, yeah, we can't get the original roots or ingredients. We don't have dirt yeah. from the islands, but it's like, fuck it. If you get some, if you get some yeah. Pedialyte, yeah, if you get Pedialyte and grape drink. <laughs> How do you think dude, all the it's, muzzle it's dudes like spawn turtles? It's it's voodoo, but only with ingredients you can get at Seven Eleven. <laughs> like yeah let me get a phone cord yeah let me crush up <laughs> crush up a taquito with this rock yeah. <laughs> they try to cast spells with the chicken bones <laughs> they eat all the meat off the hot wings yeah. <laughs> man shane i'm your batman you better watch out dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you casting spells on shane are you casting spells on shane all the way from fucking north carolina dude mm-hmm. right now dude yeah that's just in the swamp yeah with some gators <laughs> Can't spell. Yeah, you got so mad at that podcast that you drove to the swamp <laughs> where your powers are more attuned yeah. i'm trying to become batman I'm practicing dude i love to i like to imagine like when shane had his like horrible death trip this past week i like to imagine like you were in a basement somewhere like smearing goat blood on the wall just like chanting <laughs> mm. just trying to kill the white devil yeah <laughs> when you had a death trip that would lamar you you got to get on this it would be sick if black dudes took witchcraft back from white women they have to <laughs> so i feel like white women on tiktok are the ones doing witchcraft right now you got to take it back Dude, I'm. Wait, I'm they're doing witchcraft on TikTok now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is that the trend? It's it's been a trend for a couple years. Yeah, they're on. They're talking about like uh, they're pa- they're practicing like their like reality bending skills and shit. Mm-hmm. Talking about how they are able to like cha- influence the weather. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's wild shit. <laughs> yeah, white group. Wow. <laughs> but this but is you, know, <laughs> you know, the first time women started doing this, we killed them. 
know, right? <laughs> the first true. time they started doing this, we ended there like, hey, stop it. <laughs> stop yeah. that. It's too powerful. You guys got to chill with that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. But yeah. dude, I think I think that if you I think that if you just got it into their hands, I think that like black dudes would go nuts for like tarot cards and star charts. I think they'd be all about it. Black dudes are already this close to like just believing the zodiac. Yeah. Like no, I mean this is it's like I don't know. It's like cuz that's how we we don't believe it. We just mm-hmm. know that's how you get girls. Really? I think what yeah. you need to do is you need to develop like a new branch of uh voodoo that is based on Dragon Ball Z and you mm. have every mm. black man on board. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. If you if you just like invented like a real um like a real power scouter or whatever it is, and you, just, like, you know what I mean? You just yeah. handed them out. Yeah, like look, this this can uh, uh tell how much voodoo somebody got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody, just, dude, dude, just black dudes walking around, like, <laughs> p- pressing their Bluetooth headsets, reading each other's power levels. <laughs> 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 it has to look like a witch doctor thing, so it's made out of like bones and like mm-hmm. <laughs> plastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Mary, I think you'd, well, make, you'd make a good plague doctor. You'd have like a, a funny <laughs> silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> For a plague doctor. Mm-hmm. Am I fatter yeah. than you now? How fat? Have you, have you gotten skinny? No, I'm still kind of fat, but not like I'm like 260 now. Okay, so not as bad as it was. No, not. No, <laughs> you're not like no, you, no, 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 no. You're, not you're, as no. You're now just like regular fat. Before you were like the level of fat that it just brought everyone joy to see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like look at his yeah. look at look at his fingers. They're almost webbed. How fat he is. <laughs> Well, yeah, I remember, like, Lemare, like, Lemare, there was a point where Lemare's face was so fat that he just always mm. looked like a happy Asian baby. I mean, yeah. he still does, mm. but, like, your, your cheeks, <laughs> like, your cheeks used to force your eyes into, like, a smile. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Lemare used to be so fat, he looked like claymation. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, dude. That's ex- that's it exactly. Wow, fuck man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Give me one second, guys. Oh Sorry. yeah, no. no oh, problem. you eat, he ate his spicy tuna too fast. You good? Oh no! Oh, oh no! He no. turned his turned his camera off. Oh, he just went on mute. He oh, either fuck. he's either throwing up from spicy tuna or we just hurt his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> what? You guys didn't hurt my feelings. Okay, good. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I don't want to hurt your feelings for real. What happened? What, what, what was that, Lemare? Oh, I just doing the check, you know, just oh, squad check. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's all good, all good with yeah, the squad. This rocks. This rocks. This, have, this episode has a very chaotic energy, and I yeah, enjoy it. I'm sorry. No, it's fine, Lemare. You, I, I can't. I, I'm happy you're here, but I cannot stress you enough. Next time, tell me we'll do it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I will. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just yeah, yeah. You're right. Next no, time. No, you're the man, dude. This yeah, is yeah. fucking awesome. <laughs> no, this is this is pretty sick. What are you guys doing when you're not doing shows? Like, have you guys hit up any? Like, I know that. Mm-hmm. I know that I know those people yelled at you <laughs> at the bar, but like, have you done anything else cool? Did you see anything cool uh, in the Grove? No. Oh yeah, we saw Pedro Land. Have you ever heard of Pedro Land? No. What is no. that? Oh my god. There's this place. It's called South. It's a place south of the border, but it's south of the border because it's like almost like in the middle of the United States. So it's south of the United States border, but. The oh, wait, mascot. You mean the south of the border, like the big, like where they sell like fireworks and shit? Yeah. With, with, yeah, okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I know this. I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And there's this place there called Pedro Land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is, there's like a big sombrero in the sky. Yep, <laughs> yep, like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, uh, their mascot is like this Mexican guy. <laughs> He's like Pedro. <laughs> and they like, the, the, the owner, his name is like Alan. Schultz or something, or what? Is he's there now? <laughs> There's just some Jewish guy making some money off of this fucking. <laughs> off of, this, of course, this wild. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, Pedro yeah, Land it's... does sound like a racist thing you'd say about a certain side of town. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's it's what you call the front of Home Depot at six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it dude, definitely has like it sounds like something that like a, a grandpa would would say for sure. Yeah, yeah. Going down yeah. to Pedro Land, got to pick up some help. 
<laughs> yeah, because when you when you drive to Florida, I know what you're talking. Because when you drive to Florida, dude, there and there are very. It's like you see the billboards, and then yeah. if I'm not mistaken, there's just like a giant. Eventually, you see like a giant wooden Pedro. You just see like a yeah, giant yeah. wooden Mexican cartoon guy, yeah, yeah. It, and he's encouraging you yeah. to come buy illegal fireworks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they changed it now. Everybody's Pedro. If you're black, white, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, everybody's Pedro. Oh, they Trader Joe's it. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Trader Joe's all different yeah. race Pedros. Yeah, he's a marketing genius, uh, Alan Schwartz. <laughs> Alan Schwartz, <laughs> nice. I think that's it. That's pretty sick. <laughs> did you guys, did you guys get anything there? No. <laughs> yeah, nah. nah, what do you think we're gonna get? Big fucking goofy hats? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> that would be sick if you just you rolled back up to Philly, got on stage wearing a sombrero. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it would First be awesome. I, would, I just throw it on the ground and dance around it. That'd be my set. <laughs> you would crush. Yeah, I wish that going, yeah. I wish that going to Pedro Land had been like a spiritual experience. I wish it had been like going to Burning Man or something. <laughs> like you come back forever changed. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I love Mexico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pedro Land is like uh, it's it's like birthright for Mexican guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican guys from South Carolina. Nice. That's their birthright. It's Pedro Land. So these shows, they're in the South. Is it just like straight up no masks inside? Dude, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They don't give a single fuck, man. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. <clears throat> it's that crazy. <laughs> you know, it's just a, it's just a <laughs> spicy yeah. tuna cough. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I recall, I heard you on over the some podcast saying that, you, that you'll get vaccinated, but you want to be the last guy to get it. Yeah. I just want to be the last person to get vaccinated. Yeah. Well, I don't Why? need, to, I don't, I don't need it now. I'm fine. <laughs> True. Somebody True. else you, needs well, it more. Now, you're, now, wait a minute. You're black. You weigh 260 pounds. Definitely not the <laughs> highest risk group for coronavirus. <laughs> no, man. I got the blood type. I can't get that shit. I got O negative, dude. I, I'm not getting that shit. Do you? Do you actually have O negative? Yeah. Oh damn! Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's lucky <laughs> shit. If I had to pick yeah. someone who had like an unlikely health benefit, it would not be Lemare. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, never once. Lemare Lemare <laughs> is full of O negative blood. It's just moving at a snail's pace. Lemare's <laughs> yeah. like veins negative, are yeah. O negative molasses. That's right. Yeah. All of Lemare's <laughs> yeah. veins are basically in like a rush hour traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you gave if 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 we got in like an accident somewhere and we needed to like transfuse your blood into someone who was dying, we would have to tap you like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bucket and wait overnight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just hammer it into the side of your gut. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I keep moving my phone. I'm no, it's jittery. okay. I don't. No, I should be on my computer. Do, this isn't gonna. This isn't gonna be a video, so you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Cool. We're um, we're gonna we're gonna be in uh, Pennsylvania on uh, or in uh, Pennsylvania, Maryland uh, in July, and I'm afraid mm. for you guys to see how fat I got. <laughs> what? I, I've gotten like roasted? fatter. Do you remember how fat I was when I was drinking? Yeah. I've surpassed it somehow. <laughs> Are you just like 200 pounds now? I'm, I'm, uh, it's close. Not quite. I'm like, oh, dude. I'm like 180. Oh, okay. Five, two, that's, about, that's about the last max, dude. That was the last max. The last remember, max was, was 175, and, and I'm creeping up. Mm. <laughs> Are you going to hit it again and then lose it more or no? I I mean I hope so. I I switched um I started taking uh Wellbutrin which like kills your appetite. So I yeah. lost like 8 pounds, but then it stopped working and I've just been gaining <laughs> Your body got used to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My body got used to it. <laughs> Brendan, I think that what we have to do is we have to get you hooked on like methamphetamine for a time, mm-hmm. like just for like just for a, a short period. Uh-huh. <laughs> like you'd be amazed at the way the the pounds will like melt off yeah. your body. <laughs> you we just get, need a meth phase. We get me back on Adderall, like when I was a kid. Yeah, just tweaking out in <laughs> fucking social studies. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, you might get a lot done. You might get a lot done and be really hot. Ooh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and know a lot about social studies. 
Yeah. I, I remember that was the way, like, because they had me on Adderall for a little while, and they and we stopped it quickly, but, like, I remember the way that the doctor, like, spun it to my parents. He's like, and this was before it was, like, you know, a drug that was being, like, abused. Like, like, like that's the stereotype now. It's like it's on Wall Street. And the doctors and my parents like, oh, yeah, and businessmen are, 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 are uh, throwing this stuff back because it makes them all, like, thin and beautiful. Which is, like, a crazy thing for, like, <laughs> a doctor to say yeah. about the drug that he's going to give your fucking 11-year-old yeah. kid. Hey, you know what else will make you look thin and beautiful? Is the clothes from our sponsor, Under 510. Ooh. Yeah. Our uh, our sponsor, Under 510. Uh, so I'm a customer on myself. Uh, their shit rules. Uh, they make clothing for men. So the average man in America is 510, and uh, clothing companies make clothes for people average height. Um, so if you're below average height, you're probably used to wearing clothes that don't fit. I wore clothes that don't fit uh, forever. <laughs> <laughs> but well, now, stop. <laughs> yeah, this is the ad read. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, under I'll five stop, ten rocks. Uh, their sizing is like nothing out there. They carry inseams down to a twenty five inch inseam for jeans, chinos, joggers, and dress pants. <laughs> and shirts are made. Let me What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm Let me hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is it is funny that this is our sponsor, <laughs> this is, but it's very on brand. It's stuff that I use and I love their yeah. products. No, dude, it's very on brand. It works. Yeah, yeah. It works. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what are the size? Can you tell me the sizes? Yeah. How tall are you, man? <laughs> I'm. I, I should buy from them. I'm five eight. Actually, oh, yeah, and look at so what they, are you yeah. fucking laughing about? This is a great product, so <laughs> no, they're, it's a they're great sizing. Product. I just want to know the size names, yeah. So, one I mean, one of the reasons that I love um, under 510 is some of the other short guy clothing brands they'll have like a number scheme or something, and you feel like you're buying kids' clothes or like women's clothes. But under 510, like their shirts, just like small, medium, large, XL, same as like it's same as regular stuff, it's just that it's tailored differently, so the sleeves are shorter and the, the lengths are shorter. Um, oh, man. Yeah, so that's that not rules funny just, at all. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not funny. Yeah. It's like uh, under under like five tried, ten, uh, the clothes are the clothes are so good they'll even fit Lemare. They'll even fit. Lemaire. <laughs> they'll even fit. That yeah. should be their slogan: is they'll even fit Lemare. <laughs> 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 they have a photo of Lemare. Yeah, but like I used to. Um, so I used to wear clothes from one of their competitors, and they their sizing scheme is like one, two, two X, four. It's like. Uh, so I was wearing, um, I was wearing those clothes and this was years ago and I hooked up with this girl and afterwards she like went to put on one of my shirts and she's like, why is your shirt size one? And there, was, <laughs> there was no coming back from that. That was a huge L that I was not able to surmount afterwards. So under yeah. 5'10", you know, it's just normal sizing, the shit rules. Um, uh, pr- a product that I'm wearing right now actually is their joggers. Um, so if you're, if you're a short guy, they don't make joggers for short guys. You can't like roll them up like jeans or whatever. Um, so yeah, under five ten, check them out under five ten dot com. Hell yeah. Yeah. I hope that under five ten begrudgingly clothes Lemaire after this. I hope they hear the way he mocked them and I hope they just give him the fucking nicest outfit he's ever had in his entire life. I can't, I can't wait. Why did you take your fucking shirt off, Lemare? You want the clothes right now? (laughs) Like, you want them to drop shit them to your house? Look how jealous you are. Just instantly gets nude. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, like, I'm sorry, I denounced my other clothes. (laughs) Yeah, see? It's only for the 5'10 and up guys, or lower guys. (laughs) But seriously, the stuff rocks. I wore it before they started sponsoring us, so you know I believe in it. It it it's fucking sick. Yeah, and Barn Dog has been looking sharp. Like I know, like the the minute the clothes came in, like I noticed, like oh shit, dude, you're looking good in that stuff. Mm-hmm. Again, I say it all the time. I wish I was shorter. Maybe I'll do something to myself so I can wear it. <laughs> you know, we're gonna cut off Nick's knees. Yeah, I you know maybe you know. There's a lot of people in back alleys who can do a lot of interesting things, and I will do whatever Ooh. it takes. What's the movie where uh, Leonardo DiCaprio became a spaceman? He had to get taller. Was it like Andromeda or something? What? I haven't seen it. I have no idea what movie no? you're talking about. Oh, Le- no. Leonardo really? and DiCaprio was in space. I don't think he's ever been in space. No, it was like a, he had to get taller to be a spaceman. They were like, he had, he took the life of somebody else who was supposed to be an astronaut because he wasn't like good enough. <laughs> so yeah. he like, then he like uh, had to become this other person. Become another person. He had to become uh, another person. So, <laughs> Lemare is that you? No, this is are you, Lemare, there is, there is no, I just Googled it. There is no film where Leonardo DiCaprio is in space. Dude, you're a goddamn liar. 
I swear I saw this movie in fifth grade. <laughs> Flamir, you're I describing swear. you're describing a, you're describing a fucking insane movie. <laughs> This is what ha- it's what I saw. It's the like central, the central conflict of the film is that he needs to somehow grow. That he needs to be taller? <laughs> he has to be taller. Why would you need to be taller to go to space, Lemare? Because he took somebody's life. He had to he was taking this guy's life, so he had to get like knee implants and he like, like grew he to six one. Like he killed him? <laughs> I don't know. What are you Lemare? What are there's no movie like this, dude? It's well, called Galacticus or something. A lot of people don't know that if if there's if you meet an astronaut and you kill him, they have to give you his job. <laughs> it's called it's called Galact Lemaire, you are having a fucking stroke right now, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, this movie exists. I saw it in fifth grade. Lemaire. I remember and I was like, this, this is a fucked up movie to be showing in fifth grade. You are ab- <laughs> you are absolutely Lemaire, I- dying right now. You stripped off all your clothes, you stopped making sense. This is a huge red flag. <laughs> Lemaire, I just I just Googled Galacticus and got no results. I'm telling you the wrong name. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're telling me the wrong everything. Yeah, yeah. The only the only Every space movie. Has been wrong. <laughs> the the only the only space movie in Leonardo DiCaprio's body of work is a documentary called Hubble 3D. Okay. <laughs> You saw this in fifth grade. What the fuck? No, what that's are you not talking the movie. about? That's not even it. That's not even it. You got. I like, know that it's not it. It doesn't exist. I can't. You should search movie, space movie where the guy takes his knees or something. I don't know. <laughs> space <laughs> movie where the guy yeah, Nick, has to Google that. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Gattaca with Ethan Hawke. Gattaca, Ethan Hawke. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's you couldn't... it. <laughs> I thought. I thought maybe you were talking about Gattaca. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. not even fucking. You, you got Ethan Hawke confused with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, I, you white know what? Uh, let me tell you something. White boy summer can't come fast enough. <laughs> it cannot come fast enough, dude. dude. Leonardo could have been in Training Day. Like it's not, it's not that fucking hard. <laughs> well, and, and let me tell you this shit, dude. This just shows you how ahead of their time under 510 is because Gattaca is a film that takes place far in the future. And if he had just had fucking well-fitting clothes, he wouldn't have had to do all this wacky shit and go on a weird sci-fi adventure. So, again, it's it, 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 it can't be overstated how incredible this product is. God damn it, Lemaire. It's true. How could you do all this? Yeah. How <laughs> What a nightmare! <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> are you wearing? A, yo, are you yeah, wearing a gold go. chain? No, those are your headphones. No, yeah, don't make me go down to my chest. <laughs> I wasn't gonna ask gotta, you to. Yeah, I'm body. I'm body buttering up. So I'm listening and talking and buttering up. It's so That's funny why. that there's other people in the room with you right now. That you're just like doing nah, the podcast, <laughs> slathering yourself in oils, completely nude. <laughs> it's funny that you're just like jumping up and down, shirtless, screaming into a telephone while like there's three people five feet away. <laughs> there's just there's just three other comics cowering in a corner while you have a mental breakdown and shove spicy tuna in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> You fucking ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for doing the podcast as a pinch hitter, by the way. We yeah. really appreciate yeah, thank it. You. <laughs> thank you so much. No. <laughs> thank you guys. I love this podcast. Yeah. I'm sorry if it's bad. I'm no, it's sorry. not. No, dude. No, dude we're having, this is great. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, White Boy Summer should be canceled. Yeah. I, I will say that, though, that uh, based off of. Uh, Based off of this episode, I can definitely see how you were not able to hold down a studio. <laughs> <commonly>. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't for me. I've been no, I've been fired from like every job. <laughs> <laughs> Every single job I've been fired from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They say that like that's that's a thing you like would read like coming up. It'd be like, man, like if you if you're really gonna make it as a comic, you like can't do any other job. But the problem is that <laughs> that a lot of us also don't get to be comics. So no, then you're yeah, just, yeah, that's right. Then you're just nude in a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm luring these guys right now. <laughs> I'm jerking off on a podcast. That's the how they sound. Yeah, Lem- Lemire's life is—it's like he got he got called a racist slur at a bar, so he had to offset it by going to <laughs> he had to offset it by going to racist Disneyland. <laughs> now he's just spiraling in a fucking hotel room. Yeah, I'm exploding. I'm melting. Yeah, you are. You do give me. You have big, like, molecularly unstable vibes. <laughs> 
I'm just going to turn into dust. Yeah. <laughs> snap. That's right. Yeah, Thanos snap. Just like that. <laughs> I do think that Lemaire's going to have, like, he's going to have, like, a new death. Lemaire's going to die in a way that no one ever has. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I mean, what do you mean? Like, yeah, it, like the you know, SpaceX explosion. Like, I don't yeah, know, but like, cool the, like when the no. doctors go to fill out the form, they're gonna get to cause of death, and they're gonna have to think a while. <laughs> like, what do I even write? <laughs> like testicular COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, only my balls have COVID. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick, yeah. <laughs> Lemare had his balls out on the bus without a mask on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your balls get Kawasaki syndrome. What's which that? is a disease that it's primarily it's a it's a side effect of COVID, and it's primarily like the doctors are like, isn't that only contracted by children? And they're like, this isn't a child's <laughs> penis. <laughs> Kawasaki syndrome sounds yeah. like someone runs over your balls with a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now Kawasaki, I don't remember what it is. I know it's really bad. It's one of those things yeah. where it's like. It's like in the beginning of COVID, like 15 kids got Kawasaki syndrome. Uh, probably more by now. They, you know, they stopped counting. It's like the 15 make the headlines and they're like, all There's right. There's a lot else. of weird shit that was in the headlines that we stopped hearing about. Like, wasn't everybody having have, strokes? Can I have a question about you guys as advertisers? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. But sure. So, uh, right. as long as you're respectful because their products are great and we love them. No, I'm being respectful. Okay. But why don't they have uh, funnier names for the sizes? Like there should be a Dinklage. <laughs> there should be a Coleman. The, the well, there should be a Emmanuel Lewis. They should be like named and like <laughs> named well, after famous short people. There should be a Devito. Mm-hmm. Like you know, Dude, like, they should do. I, a I line. understand your point. Uh, the reason is because as a short man, buying clothing is uh, extremely uh, undignifying. <laughs> so, <Right. laughs> so it's nice I to put like-, like a little bit of self-respect back in the process. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've been, like, in the kids' section at, like, Macy's and someone has asked if I'm lost? Oh, that's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> There's just, like, a cop watching you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a cop watching you smell shirts for five-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> they should do. I do. You're, but I, I kind of like what LeMaire's saying. It's like, they should do, like, an offshoot of, like, not, like... I don't know. Some kind of like sexual, like fetish. They should do like the Vern Troyer series. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. For like when you feel horny. When you're a short man who's horny. Yeah, Vern Troyer is totally a one. Oh, dude. Vern, <laughs> I did, Vern Troyer, I think, didn't like that chick, the last person he slept with, didn't she say like he would fuck me like 15 times a day? Like he was like a sex fiend. Damn. Yeah. He did a porn. He has a sex tape. Oh, I got to watch that. No, no. <laughs> no? Don't watch it. No, stay away. It's pretty creepy. Have you, oh, you've seen it? Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, it's creepy. What's, what do they do? Like, How big is his dick? Man, I, I'm um, assuming small? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be yeah. funny if his dick was so big he just like slept next to it like a body pillow when he took his pants <laughs> off. Just <laughs> nuzzled into it. Yeah. yeah. That would be sick. <laughs> You're never really alone when you have a dick that big. <laughs> I've never, yeah, I, there are a lot of uh, famous advantages to having a big dick, which I am well aware of. But uh, I've never considered the companionship aspect. Yeah, we all are aware of them, uh, Brendan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're all aware of the advantages of having a really big dick. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my granddad. <laughs> when my granddad played baseball, um, like in Michigan, like I don't know if it was like college or way back, but yeah, like they had a, it was something you Negro could, leagues. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was in the Negro leagues. <laughs> Oh, is that a, are you calling me black? I uh, thank you. I'll no, take it. No, I mean he was just playing in the Negro leagues. <laughs> oh, that, he, he was that bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like send him down there. <laughs> no, he would tell me this story of like the the dude the pitcher on on uh, this one team that they would play. He would always like before he was getting ready to do like a I, I don't know if it was like a hail mary thing, but he would like pull his pants open and talk to his penis before he was going to throw like a fastball. <laughs> and I'm just like that needs to come back. <laughs> I'd love to. See, I'd love to yeah. see that ha- that come back in like the MLB. Yeah, especially now like, with like 4K cameras. <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, old Curly's talking to his penis again. We gotta, <laughs> he's about to throw a strike. <laughs> oh, no, my granny, he literally, he like the guy would like uh, like pull his pants open and go, what do I do now, old one eye? He would call it old one eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would, and then he would, you know, th- th- the game would yeah. continue. That's he would throw the yeah. baseball after shouting at his penis. <laughs> like, luckily, to get arrested no for like obscenity them. back then. <laughs> and have gone to prison. Yeah, <laughs> you can't get arrested for obscenities when you're making twenty thousand dollars a year and also sells everyone their vacuums. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying. I don't <laughs> understand. Lamar, what, that's an old timey. That's an old timey sports joke. They didn't make any money, and they also worked in like a vacuum. They're all like vacuum salesmen, also. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, twenty thousand dollars a year would would have been a lot. Uh, just, just so you know, for the, for the time period that we're talking about, it would have been a lot of money. Yeah. It honestly, I would love to make twenty thousand dollars a year now. Yeah. <laughs> right now, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, actually, oh. I think I think that is my about that is about my annual take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might actually I might actually make more than that this year, which would be nice. Hey. And that's not count. That's not counting uh, government assistance from the pandemic. All right? I'm not I'm not standing on my tippy toes. Dude, fucking put them un, unbuckle those bootstraps, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unbuckle those bootstraps, bro. Yeah, just think, fall down, you fall think, back down, yeah. fall out of better my boots. than us. Let Uncle Sam help you up, dude. He has a ladder. He did. Mm-hmm. He. I was until I was tricked. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and I and I can't. Tricked. Uh, I talk about. I can't it. speak oh, no. on it too much, but uh, yeah, I basically you voted for got, Joe Biden. I got tricked that way too. Oh no! I, oh, oh no! 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 no. I, I didn't do that. <laughs> Don't worry, Lamar. I didn't do that. Um, no, I got tricked into going back to work, thinking that there would be. Uh, oh, gay. A, thinking there'd be a no. benefits. Yeah. If, Damn. Yeah. Thinking that there might be some paperwork that it was not filed that wound up being filed. Oh, right away, <laughs> right away. I thought. Are you I back thought. In- I'm 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 back. I I yeah. I I shouldn't. Uh, you back people, at the front. I'm back at the front. The people the people I, <laughs> the people I work with are already like shady enough that I don't I don't know yeah. if I want to talk about it too much on mic. Yeah. But yeah. No, no. Yeah, you're back at the front. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm next, back at the front. <laughs> next week you show up to record with one hand. <laughs> I'm like I'm like Brendan. We really gotta. I'm like we really gotta keep it to the topics this time, dude. <laughs> White boy summer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be that would be a horrible start to white boy summer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would truly be an awful start. <laughs> That'd be the worst ever start to white boy summer, dude. <laughs> Why does the video keep getting deleted? Have you seen the video, Lemire? Chad Hanks made a made a song. No, it's good. I, I heard it's a the decent. Song, it sounds like a bop. But I didn't see it. Yeah, it's a decent song. Uh, but I, I think he thinks that it's. I don't know. It might be for all I know. But uh, I think he keeps deleting it and re-uploading it because it's like shadow banned or something. Like yeah, it's not like they're sh- hiding it. Like it's not showing up in the algorithm. It's Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Big Hanks trying to shut down a nice little chat. His name is Chet Hayes. You guys know him yeah. from back then in the day, or you guys? Yeah, recent I remember Chet fans. I'm, I remember Chet I'm a Hayes. Recent Chet fan. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. But Dude, he was the yeah. best. I did not consider that Tom Hanks is squelching this. It's... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, because because Chet is the Chet is the one like the. It's the one Jenga block that's that's threatening. That's in terms of Tom's like squeaky clean image, which and yeah. who knows how squeaky clean it really is. He is the one outlier. <laughs> I'm sure to, every day Tom yeah. is like, "Fuck, why did I have that kid?" <laughs> There's no way he could have known. Rita, we had one perfect kid with Colin. Why do we have to go for another one? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I will say this: I think that Chet Hanks is the best Hanks by far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I think that I think that each Hanks has only gotten better. Like I like Colin more than Tom, and Chet is just I mean, it's he's a fucking ten out of 10 Honestly, human being. He's the only Hanks I've ever seen hang out with a black person, like willingly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, have I ever like the only time I've seen Tom Hanks hang out with a black person was the Green Mile, and that dude was in jail. You know? like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Hanks doesn't hang out with black people. No, never. He yeah. collects typewriters. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got fucking, something we got about some that. Black over. Something about that does feel racist. You're right. Yeah, like Darius uh, Rita. <laughs> yeah, it's like I need a place where I can type that will never be electronically recorded. 
<laughs> yeah. That, oh, damn, dude. You guys are exposing Tom. We're about to ruin this squeaky queen image. I know. <laughs> yeah, Tom Hanks, a man we've never criticized on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you think he it's... knows how to fight? Uh, I don't. Do you think Tom Hanks has ever ordered someone killed? Mm. <sighs> that's a good it's question. That's Epstein, dude. True. Oh fuck, that's true. <laughs> I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was a big Zoom. I'm sure there was a Zoom call of like 30 people <laughs> when, when, when Jeffrey Epstein. I'm sure it was a lot of people like squinting into the camera, just like a lot of like 60 year old Hollywood producers. <laughs> like, is this on? Yeah. We have to do something about this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> one guy actually he forgets to turn his camera off, and he's in the corner molesting a child, and they're like. <laughs> They're like, look, it's fine you're doing that, but we, just, we want you to know your camera is on. <laughs> Again, you're not in trouble. We don't have an issue with that. Yeah. Yeah, like Roman Polanski. <laughs> Roman, you're, you're, <laughs> you left your camera on. Hit the, hit the mute button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Zoom call, the framing was a lot like, it was a lot of people. It was it was like Le Maire, but it was all 70-year-old like politicians. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just shirtless eating sushi. <laughs> I like to imagine like 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 what like they, like I don't know like fucking Lawrence Kasdan he's got like a, he's got like one of the backgrounds up that you have on Zoom and you just can like see a child phasing in and out of it <laughs> like like pulling against his restraints on the wall. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm telling. I think that I mean, who's to say? We have every reason to believe that that did happen. Yeah, yeah. there's really no evidence that it didn't, and in yeah, many no ways that's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, I was telling my girlfriend about the Tom Hanks um, pissing in movies thing. I was just like, because I can't, we can't watch anything without me ruining it. What's um, the Tom I, Hanks pissing in movies thing? He pisses uh, in like every movie to the point that it has to be his idea. Yeah, he pees in a <laughs> lot of movies. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, I think the one we were watching, we were watching Sleepless in Seattle. He pisses in that one, right? Does he piss next to his son? I haven't seen that one. <laughs> what? I haven't seen that one. Yeah, so like I, I like I was I was telling uh I was telling my girlfriend about like oh yeah I'm like Tom Hanks is a total pervert she's like why I'm like he pisses in every movies that he's in and, and she's like what does that mean I was like I don't know but he does it and then he did it and I was like I was like eh? I was like see I'm a genius <laughs> maybe next time you'll listen to me unquestioningly. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, there's nothing that my girlfriend hates more than when I pause a movie to explain the darkness of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> An industry that she is closer to and knows more about than I ever will. Because <laughs> she actually accomplished her dreams, and I'm just like, well, you know the thing about it is. Just like completely, just have no Your idea what I'm talking are about. <laughs> you're like you're like do you know that they do like they do a ritual blood sacrifice before every pitch meeting and she's like no i've been there she's like i've been in those we don't do that <laughs> yeah okay yeah you know whatever what? maybe she knows some things but until she's been in the dome of silence i i don't know mm-hmm. man i just mm-hmm. have to say i might have some more intel than her no i'm sneaking sneak into tom cruise's house and let you guys know oh i believe you could do it lamar oh for sure yeah if there's one thing you're good at, it's being stealthy and unnoticed. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is one of the the least conspicuous looking people I know. <laughs> Dude, I can get in anywhere. I, I tell you, I can get in anywhere. I just walk in and they don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever. Yeah, Never they just call the police. Said anything. I'm sure you walking around the deep south this week have gone very unnoticed in all the stores and such you went in. Yeah, <laughs> Let me, do, you think, do you think that Scientologists would get you? Like uh, the idea? Not nah, like if like, they like like if like if one if they got you on the e meter reading. Like if they like if they oh. reeled you in. Nah man, I'm too much of a JC head. I can't I can't fall for that bull. 
Yeah, you know, dude. I feel like Lemare like, wouldn't forsake Christ like that, but I feel like if, never, dude. If if not for that, absolutely, he one hundred percent. Yeah, if not they for tried Christ, to, absolutely, yes. It, <laughs> that's right. I, they got me in fucking. I was in uh, East Hollywood this morning, and I was walking yeah. down. I had to walk back past Scientology, and to, like, dude, I get like one street corner. They tried to get me, and then the other street. And I like, I wish, like, I wish I had like. Almost like vamp. I wish I had like a silver cross and like fucking. <laughs> I wish I had like yeah. like like star of David throne. I do. I wish yeah. I could just like defeat them with like the power of Abraham. You know. <laughs> yeah. I need to start having like religious <laughs> weapons to ward off the Scientologists. Yeah. You gotta, uh, you gotta get a burning bush and be like, the Jews will not replace us. <laughs> uh, no. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, Lemare. No, oh, no, no, I, I don't no. think I agree with that one one bit. I'll. Lemare, I will join a Justice League with the Jews to defeat the Scientologists, dude. Mm-hmm. I need. I want a full. I want like a full Damn. room, just like Batman. We stand. Are you saying Lemare, on Scientology the is like Galactus? Like they're Galactus? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. They're an imminent threat. I think so. I've never thought about teaming up with Jews before until they're, just now. They're an imminent threat in Southern California, at least. <laughs> okay. Mm. You guys You've never a, thought uh, about teaming up with Jews before? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> Lemare, Lemare, you, you need to team up with the yeah. Jews. They'll make you famous. Dude, Let me dude, just be dude, clear I mean, that we... They're going to make Lemare uh, land. We, we 100% stand Jews on this podcast. Dude, I stand Jews. I'm just joking, dude. Okay. <laughs> just <laughs> being clear. Look as, somebody, look, as somebody who has Jewish blood coursing through his veins, mm-hmm. it's all fair game. Me it's too. Game. You do? Yeah, I'm Jewish, Italian, and black. Well, I guess... One of those but is I, really shining through, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like it's like when you mix all the colors together, you just get brown. One just yeah. overpowers the other. Mm-hmm. I'm mostly Italian. My skin is just black. Well, Italians are black people. Mm. Which they which they, which they will either which they will either claim or rebuke depending on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Lemaire, fuck, dude. Yes. How'd you get us so fired up? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just happened. It is quite all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> That's okay. We're at, a, we're at yeah. 57 minutes. Should we go ahead and? Uh... Oh. Yeah. Let's 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 round it out to like an hour. Let's bring it into a into a yeah. Let's for a landing because I have to go to. I gotta get ready to go to the airport. Okay. Ooh, where are you going? I'm picking my girlfriend up. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, How long is your girlfriend around for? Uh, she's gonna be here for like a week. We're gonna go out to the desert. Ooh, you guys have a sex week. Chill, man. <laughs> Ooh, you gonna fuck your girlfriend in the desert? That's freaky as hell, dude. No, it's that's pretty normal. <laughs> you freaky as hell. That's why couples go to the desert, dude. Nah, dude, she's gonna have a sandy snatch. You're gonna be in there. <laughs> oh no! Be this will be the one that she listens to. There's gonna be you scorpions and shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, your girlfriend's no. gonna have a sandy sniz and you're gonna be down there oh. having a dry mouth. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah dude. No. You know, how married. disheartening will it be to have sex and watch a tumbleweed go by? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so upsetting. No like, way. Damn, nature doesn't think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a tumbleweed while yeah. you're fucking is total heckle from nature. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I'd be afraid that Just my the... dick would like blow off of its roots and roll away like a tumbleweed. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, Joshua Tree, California, just like you stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! No, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a good little get. It's gonna be nice to go yeah. out and see the stars. Yeah. It's gonna be nice no, to actually be see sick. them. The dude, you forget when you get to the desert, you're like, oh fuck, like the moon. This is gonna sound stupid, but the moon is a source of light in a way that's really fucking crazy. Where it's like. Like it's dark, then the moon comes up and it's literally like somebody turned a light on. You're like, fuck, I forgot that like because you live in light pollution. You're like, I forgot yeah. how bright the moon is. If you can see the stars, that means it's reverse cowgirl. Why does that mean that? That's <laughs> <laughs> the only way you can see the stars during sex, really. You know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe Lemire, maybe, maybe we're it's just... regular cowgirl. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, how do you know? It doesn't it doesn't have to be Oh, excuse me, if I'm having cowgirl, regular cowgirl sex with a lady, I'm too busy staring into her eyes. 
<laughs> okay. All right, good point. Good point. Wow, you have a fucking answer for everything, dude. <laughs> Lamar, what is sex with you like? What What do women Amazing, say dude. afterwards? Fucking ask Rihanna, dude. It, I'll tell you what. It's it's cowgirl, cowgirl, or reverse cowgirl. <laughs> yeah, no. It's That's like, sex uh, with Lamar. It's it's okay. It's not bad. It's like okay. I will tell you. Okay, it is bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just like a. It's like a, I don't have any like real sexual confidence. So after a little bit, I'm like, all right. And then I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. nobody wants to do this anymore. In the middle of it? <laughs> In my head. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so what you just, it's, it's like, it's like, no, I don't like, bail. I just like, you just, I just, you're like, you're like, I'm, I'm going to give time back to the room. <laughs> you just get it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else comes in the fucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the headliner. <laughs> like, That's my time. All right. Like, man, that, was a, that was a great guest spot. <laughs> yeah. Give me five, ten. I'm good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh my god. Let's I think that's as good as it's gonna get. All right. I feel like that's the episode. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you have anything you want to plug, Lamare? Panties in the mouth. Uh, yes, have Panties you, in the Mouth Podcast. Have you not that's changed me, the name yet? No, we're not changing the name. It's just hey. <laughs> Panties in the mouth podcast, P I T M, please listen and it'll explain it. You'll be it'll be fine. And then Alt Black, please check out that. That's going good too still. You still and doing that one? You, What'd you say? I said you're still doing that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing it all, dude. <laughs> right, dude. He's listen, got his hands listen in to a lot panties of in the mouth, folks. Dude, I'm, uh, I'm gonna call it a, I'm gonna call all black the new voodoo podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna change the name of all black instead of panties in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. and uh, feud on Mondays sometimes. So. Yeah, you got Yo, any more feud. dates on this tour you want to plug? Oh, we might have some no, listeners. It's over because like uh, something happened and we got to go back. This is the last show. Damn, that's very, uh, mm-hmm. very vague and ominous. I, I, I yeah, will say, vague. I will say really quick. <laughs> I uh, feud is a fucking blast, dude. I had so much fun doing that show. Yeah, and Thanks I'll be honest, on, man, that was so fun, dude. It was, it was really fun. I was, I was skeptical, and it was really yeah. fucking fun. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that was Thank super you, man. fun. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all. It's usually always fun because then because it makes you like a like think about something that you like kind of want to debate. But then, like, you just start losing yourself in it. Like, no, 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 wait. This is why I'm right and you're wrong. Shut up. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's sick. Hell very, yeah. very fun show. Yeah. Heck yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, no problem. This was yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. This was the best. All yeah. right. Heck yeah. <laughs> see you, everybody. Right. Peace, guys. I'll see you guys when you get here. Hell yeah. Knock, knock, open up, it's me, the crazy, shady, faded fucker, so rock the G's. I'll see you later, make a baby, lead her on in peace. Only time I give a fuck is for, for my, my own release. release. That's why I own these streets. Straight up, portfolio, showing growth, fuck a pay cut. Yeah, you know I stay slut. Catch me in the spot, lubing up for the self-suck. Oh, fuck, I busted already. I'm coming bucket so heavy. Fuck my dream so of cream heavy. coming steady. Now my mouth open, I'm ready. I'm talking solo heavy petting on a Friday, Friday night. night. That's Talking bashing the bishop more like that tugger's delight. I'm Nantucket's taking all the time delight. I need to do it just right. Got my candles in the fishnets cause it's on tonight. Oh, that's right. It's time to fillet. No need to debate. Me, I suck until I go ooh wee and spray my white pee pee. I got that ski ski ski. Oh.